So we now have a working computer and the remaining components are input and output components. So we switch off the power and first we are going to do is add the audio output. So for this we need an audio plug, it goes in here, this resistor array and one resistor of 2.2 kilo ohms, that's the red, red, red one. Now you should be proficient in soldering in resistors by now, so this goes in R10. Then there's the resistor array, that's the 6-pin array. This also has a dot. The left side, if you look at the lettering, is where the dot is. And this needs to go on the left on the board. It's marked DAC, Digital Analog Converter. So again I use my little trick to solder one pin. Then make sure it is in straight. Yes, happy with that. Solder in the rest of the pins. And lastly the audio plug. The audio plug has three pins and as you can see the little ring rests on top of the PCB so it's not possible to insert it so it, it stay, it's fully flat on the PCB, but that's no problem. So these are quite big holes, so they need a little bit more solder. As you can see there's also two holes in which no pins are present, and this is for future uh, expansion or for enabling us to use different shaped connectors. So actually there in, on this connector there's through three pins that we need to solder. So this is the audio. That's all there is to it.